Hi there, how are you doing? Are you good? Great! You see that, right there? This, the original speaker inside of that, blew. I blew it by accident. So this has a speaker inside of it, which wasn't really meant to be inside of it. It's a 6x9 inside of it. If you haven't seen the video in which I modified this, modified, then you probably don't know. So, that's why I'm telling you. Now, what I'm going to do with this is take the speaker out, detach the tweeter from the speaker, and then I'm going to put it back together. You know what else I was thinking as I was speaking? I was thinking I could even put a different speaker inside of this. I could try, I've got two, three lying right here that I could try inside this. And we can see what it sounds like, what they sound like. Also, as you can tell, this video is unplanned. I'm just sort of uh, going with the flow of whatever I'm doing. All my videos are unplanned. So yeah, let's, um, shall we? Sh let's, sh right, so it's plugged in, turned on, and all the knobs are set to five. The guitar is also plugged in, and uh, this is also set to five. So what I'll do is play a few simple chords. My fingers are soft, I'm not gonna play anything. Haven't played in a while. And because my fingers are soft, I don't wanna. And you'll probably only understand if you've played guitar before. <laughs> Sounds all right, I guess. And the fact that the speaker inside there actually has a tweeter on it doesn't make that much of a difference to me. So I'm not sure why I'm making this video, but I'm gonna make it anyway. Right, so if you've never seen me open this up, then have you seen these two screws right here? These screws, that one, and that one, they, they don't do anything. They're just there for the looks for some reason. So I'm gonna put that back. This one too. This one too. Nope. And I'm going to take out the screws that are actually doing something. Shortest screws in the world decides to use electric drill. Okay, so that's them out. And there we have it. That is what is inside this. F me, no, F you, not you what's RMS. This barely fit in here. And I remember because I fit it. Are you at it? Right, anyway, I'm gonna need a different screwdriver now because I can't get out these screws with this. Although, no, I can't. Do we need a bit of light in here because I've got a bit of a tan now. My hands are black. See, one hand is a little darker than the other. And they're both tanned. Let's see if I can get my leg into the shot. It's a bit of a weird video, but I thought I might as well explain what's going on. I have got a tan. Can you see? Good. This is my natural color. This, however, is when I hit the sunshine. Right, so first screw is this one right here, which has a ground wire wrapped around it. And then the next one, which is down here, which is actually screwed in a little better than the other one was. Right, there we are, that is out. And so is this, almost. Right, so there we have the tweeter. Tweeter, tweeter. Which one do you like, tweeter or tweeter or tweeter? Either way, there it is, and um, I'm going to put another speaker into this, or maybe I could just connect it to here, and we could experiment. How about maybe attaching a sub, perhaps something like this? I mean, it's not going to fit, but we can see how it sounds. So actually, quite conveniently, there are these connectors right here, so I'm going to take that off, focus the camera, and then take this one off. And then what I'll do is refocus the camera, and try to connect these to this. And the reason I say try is because these are quite short. Connect that there, connect this one to my backside. So now what I'm gonna do is leave this like a saw. And then I'm gonna put this on the floor. Right, so sub is connected now and the settings are still the same, volume levels, etc. So let's see how it sounds. Sounds all right. Right, so guitar volume, let's put that to max. And now let's see how it sounds. Mm. 
That actually sounds pretty decent. Kind of surprised. All right, so what I'll do now is attach another speaker to it. And can you guess what speaker I'm about to connect next? There's a bit of a clue in the background. Right, all the settings are still the same. All the settings are still the same. All the settings are still the same. I just need to turn it on. And... Maybe this way around. There we are. Right then. That was quite loud. Let's turn it down a bit. This seems to be the perfect speaker for a guitar. Right, so whilst I'm at it, are you at it? Seeing as though I'm doing this, I might as well try another one. Now, if the speaker that came with this amp, which I blew by accident, is completely okay being inside this and sufficient for the job, then this next speaker should be too. And Bruh. there it is. Right, so the settings are still the same. I've turned the guitar volume down. Let's see how it sounds. Probably pretty poo. Gonna turn up the volume on the guitar. Wow, I like it. Sounds all right. It would sound a lot better inside the box, but it's not going to fit inside the box because you can probably see that the circle cut out for the original speaker is quite big. Now, out of all the speakers that I've tested, the best speaker to use as a guitar speaker would probably be the biggest one that I've tested, the uh, big old 18 inch speaker. But obviously that's not going to fit. So the speaker that did fit in there is now going to have the tweeter removed from it. Hello and welcome. Welcome to Speaker Surgery. I am your doctor, Stony, Stony Stonerson, and I shall be working on this speaker right here. Now, the first thing we need to take into account is that the tweeter is right here. It is connected right here. The connection goes through down here. And the first thing we need to make sure is that we have access to the back right here. Now, in order to detach the tweeter, what we're gonna need to do is stick a screwdriver right into here, like so. And then we turn, like so. This process will then detach the tweeter, like so. And now we simply detach the tweeter from the cone, like so. And the same applies for the other side. And there you have it. Thank you for watching. All right, back to normal. And that goes through right there like this. And uh, there we have it, sorted. Right, so here we are. Gonna put this back into here now. So I think it goes in something like that. And it's a very tight fit, but it does fit. All right, so there we go, that's in. And I'll connect these back onto the wrong ones. Right, microphone wasn't attached, but what I was saying was, this is now pretty much done. What I wanna do next is blow this because I can, because I want to, because I'm bored. Right then, let's see what sort of action we can get from this tweeter. Let's 
Okay, not much going on. So what I'll do now is I'll disconnect this one and try to connect it over here somewhere. Well, it's not quite staying on. Maybe I can use this and bring that out a little bit. Like that. That should be good enough. And now we should know. I think that might work. Okay, let's see if this moves now. This track is called Low Motion and Play. And that is the end of that. So I've saved a bit more space in this room and um, I guess I'll see you in the next one.